Hello and welcome back to Tulwork Three Kingdoms Kong Rong campaign. Well, we are now at the city here with Huang Shou, Shao, and we could actually have the battle now, but I'm going to starve him out for now. now. So when we come back now to the map, as we can see, we are here now. Tai Shan is under siege by my forces. Perhaps yeah, I do have the money, but I can't. Oh, I've I've reached my limit there. Okay, so I can't do anything there, but um. We're going to take uh, lay siege now to this one here, and that should take. I mean, I don't know how long this is going to take. Five turns, and in five turns we can take the city. Then um, there's something over there. Is that Han? I think it's Han, right? Yeah, because Leo Bay has taken everything else. Look at that. So we could take the Han Empire over there. So if if I'm fast enough after this one there and go right up there, I could take this one. It's even on my side as well. If he doesn't take it, but Leo Bay is really fast and strong. I'm just happy that um, I've taken back my capital. Let's have a look at that. A commandery stockpiles determine how long its people can hold out. Do I need to repair my buildings first, so we are uh, repairing the county office first. Food production surplus. In after you call the settlement, you uh, she's repeating herself. Um, and let's have a look at that. Um. Right, we, before we can do anything meaningful here, we have to take um, Taishan back again. So that's that. We just have to wait now a bit on this on this line. So let's have a look at my diplomacy. Sometimes it is not important who you sign an agreement with. Only that the agreement itself comes to pass. If you have an important deal you want to sign, look for factions who will be open to it. Okay, um, for now, let's have a look. Um, Liu Bei... Perhaps we can re re negotiate something new here. So we already have the trade agreement that brings us in a lot of money. So 312 coins per uh, per turn. That's really powerful. And we have the military access there. So we can access his territory with our armies without um, insulting him or something like that. Let's see if we can get some regular payment out of this one here. We do have quite a lot of food. So we could do it with like offer food trade. So I'm going to say one food there and get a bit of more money out of that. Yeah, this is working. So that's 100 uh, coins per turn for one food. That's pretty good, I'd say. Let's sign the deal there. Unless I totally underestimate the power of food. You know, I mean, but at the moment it looks like I just need to have it. It's not like in civilization that increases my um, growth. It doesn't look like that to me at the moment. If I'm wrong about that... Just write it in the comments, or I'm just going to read up on that again. But I don't think that it is. I just don't want to read up so many things, you know. I want to learn it on my own. Having my own experiences there. But at the moment, I presume that food is not such a major factor. Of course, we need it to feed our population armies. But other than that, I don't know. Let's go for diplomacy real quick. Yuan Tuan, who's that again? Is that him? No, that's Wang Shao. Where's he? I can't find him. Yuan Tan, he's expansionist overlord. I have no idea where the hell he is. He's second Marquis. Yuan Tan? He's an overlord, but I can't see him on the map. Perhaps he's somewhere up here and we just can't see him. May we find common Let's see if we can do something with him. A non-aggression pact? With a trade monopoly. Oh, he doesn't want that. Wait a second. We could actually get one, perhaps. I give him military access. No, that's even worse. But the trade is so important. That gives us so much money per turn. Perhaps if we offer him food. One food. That's quite a lot. So we get out of 400 coins per turn now, then. With um, just one food that we can pay. And we will export Yuan Tuan through trade, military strength and strategic situation increases, trade with increases, wider diplomatic impact. Seems to be good actually. Could we get an arrange a mar marriage as well? Let's see if that works. No, marriage, look at that, minus 14. He really doesn't want to do that. Perhaps we can uh, marry with a daughter of Liu Bei at some point. Non-aggression pact. Nope. Uh, 
I want this to work somehow. Let's request a regular payment then instead. Yeah, but we can't request uh, much there. Nope. Hmm, we have 0 0.9. I want to use that. Let's see. I'm giving him food already. If I give him... No, if I demand a payment. Wait a second. Request payment. Uh, that's even... That's worth anything here. Look at that. What's that? So 0 0.9 would be fine for him, but everything else not? Non-aggression pact is out of the line here as well. Yeah, well, let's have it like that. And we have another trade tree D. That's the strength of Kung Rong. Kung Rong. So uh, the, the trade is very powerful. And we get like uh, 1064 coins now per turn. That's really, really much. So with that rate, we can um, start a second army soon. So that's very interesting. Let's end this turn. And Yuan Tan now wants quite a lot. And we would form a coalition. Coalition means that we are, you know, totally united. Um, let's re negotiate that. Nope. So I'm going to reject him. If you wish it. Where is he anyway? The problem is I can't see him anywhere. That is something I really don't like. So I don't know how powerful he is. We do have the trade there. Plans require you to cross the land of a neutral faction. Try to get a military access pact to move your armies freely without causing a negative impact to your diplomatic relations with them. Okay. A friendly drink, the evening is quiet, but for the crackling of fires and the murmur of the soldiers. As you pass a camp, some comrades invite you to drink with them and talk as the last of the day's light apps away. Yeah, let's accept the offer. And yeah, relationship deepens with Kong Rong and Seng Yang. So one of our generals there. He likes us even more now. And there is Yuan Tan. But we should be on friendly terms, right? I mean, I declined his coalition request. Other than that, we are on a trade. May we talk frankly but fairly. Non-aggression pact. 1.5. We still have some food as far as I know. Oh, we already have that. Hmm. Perhaps we can pay him something. A thousand coins? Yeah, a thousand coins would actually be good. Let's go for 900. 900 would be better. Okay, so we could have that. We could get a non-aggression pack here with um, 900 coins. Because he's already at the edge. There he is, by the way. That's Yuan Shun. That's Yuan Tang. And he's already at my borders, you know, so I'm a bit afraid there if he rushes me or something. There he is, crossing the river and then coming into my land. Or he's he's just taking the territory there. We do have a trade agreement after all, right? He's there now, so not far away from my, my army is there. That, that's the problem. If he wants to take this one here, he could take that soon. I refuse. Oh my, that is that is the complicated there. Because if he takes that, we are at war basically. Because he would be my next goal then. On my way down here. I would really like to secure the river lands here. Close victory that would be it. No, let's let's still starve them out. You know, there's nothing else I can do there. Um, yeah, let's end the turn. We actually have building queues open. Can be protected with garrisons, and you should field extra garrisons in areas vulnerable to attack. Okay, let's see what he's doing. If he goes my way, no. Okay, he seems to be disappearing now.
Yeah, very nice. Nothing happened there. And it's winter. Your diplomatic surroundings by signing non-aggression packs with your neighbors. It is the. You read a report about one of your generals who beat six enemies single-handedly, largely due to the courage and speed and loyalty of their horse. Heroes have always had something or someone to help them achieve their rightful destiny. It can be loyal follower, a trusted steed, a book of wisdom or a weapon of unique properties, but they all fulfill the same role. Whether it is fate or by your very own will and actions, such a thing has come into your possession. The real test is figuring out how to best make use of it or them to help you achieve your goal. I have no idea what this means now. A hero's aid. Someone's helping me. There. Is he helping me? I mean, that's me, right? But it's green. Has a green arrow there? I have no idea. Okay, we do we do quite get quite a lot of money there right now. We have one th three thousand now, so we can do something with that. We could build this one here. Ten prestige, one hundred seventy income. Let's have a look at my capital. We could get the livestock up there, getting more food, more income as well. That would be good. Or we could actually go for the small city. Then we would have a wall surrounding our Beya. Behai. It's 12 prestige, 800k population. Two food production, 25 income, 25% income from commerce. And the settlement has a wall. That's very nice. Let's go for that. It's really expensive, but let's go for that. So we can build now a small city there, making out of that town here, a small city, and it takes me six turns. So it's good that we're doing it now. I'm feeling a bit secure right now. That should be all nice. Liu Bei, oh no, he's taken this one now, okay. So we are surrounded now by Liu Bei. I mean, we are on a very friendly terms, but he's really strong there. And very fast with his conquer. Greetings. We cannot do anything with him, Yuan Tuan. Greetings. What shall we talk about? Non-aggression pact? Nope. Liu Dai, where is he? Liu Dai, I can't see them. Him on the map anywhere, but negotiation missing. should be possible with him. We don't have a free trade route right now, but we could have a non-aggression pact. Just like that. Agreeable that deal time. is signed, so that increases our reputation with him a bit. Good to see you. And perhaps we can request a regular payment for food. That would be possible. So we could get up here to, I think, 500 perhaps? No. No, then we don't do that. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, so I think we're going to close this up this turn here again. I think this will meet with your approval. Liu Bei offers a coalition, invites you to form a coalition, establishing a non-binding agreement to fight mutual enemies. Should we do that? Let's do it. I am pleased for your gratitude. So we are now in a coalition with Liu Bei, but under Liu Bei, I think. So for us, it's important to grow even bigger and perhaps attack him then at some point. Or perhaps we stay together. Who knows? And we have formed a coalition. That means I can also see his territory now. Let's have a look. So we are bigger now here. That's good. So um, he defends me as well. Hopefully. And we can now continue our journey here to the north. So I would like to take the whole north there. That is my goal for now. And he's probably going this way here down. So there's the big yellow river. I think that's it. Going all the way here to the capital. And I just want to be north of it and do my stuff there. Yeah, that's the yellow river. Okay, what else can we do here now? We have a new reform that we can undertake. Um, let's have a look there. 25% minus in construction cost for military infrastructure. Plus 8 military supplies. 
plus 10% income from all sources. That doesn't sound so bad. Okay, but I would also like to go for more trade, but it's it's not possible, it seems to me. What's that? 10% income from commerce. I mean, commerce is, is the trade routes part of that. That is something to ask. Let's get 10% income from all sources for now. So that's a certain income in boost. Okay, two more turns. Let's continue. You are weak and troublesome. Yield. You give Vassalage. Of course, I'm not going to do that. Can I see where he is? Um, that is a bit problematic. Why can I not see that? Dong Min. Ah, he's down there. No, I'm going to reject. You reject our generosity? That is too far away anyway. And we are already in a coalition. Faction emerges, the ye Yellow Turban Rebellion. Okay, far away. Pew! And there I thought they would be back here again. Okay, public order is pretty low. Not to conquer, but to be closer to heaven. Why is that the case? We have enough food? Hmm. I wouldn't know. Perhaps we need more buildings with public order increase. Something like that. But we can't afford anything right now anyway. A new capital has been established by the Yellow Turbine Rebellion, uh, an iron mine location. And trade, trade with this faction is no longer possible and has been suspended one ton. Oh no. That means we also have a trade route open again. So Yan Tan doesn't want to have trade with us anymore because he's going down as far as I can see that. It's this last area there. So we have Sang Yan now here. And let's see with whom we could trade. Leo Dai. Perhaps we can have trade what with him. Wish? No, we can't. Okay, nothing with him. Liu Dai Tao Qian. Good day. Ah, uh, he's got no trade rod available. So there's no use here to do anything else, I think. Non aggression pack, that would work. That's plus 3.5. So we could get a, a, a bit of payment out of that, perhaps. No, I don't offer payment. I won't. Request payment. Let's see how hard we can get here. Quite high, I'd say. Six hundred ninety coins for a non-aggression pact. As Seems wish. like a very good idea to me. That is something, but we haven't made any new trade agreement yet. So both of them don't can do that. Why is the one ton not huh? able to do that anymore? Let us talk. Non-aggression pact. Okay, he doesn't want that. Liu Bei is my butt. No problem there. Not you again. He doesn't want to have any peace with me. Nor do he want does he want to join the coalition, okay? And the Han Empire, which is gone, basically, right? I don't see it anymore. Rational minds can achieve great feats. Yeah, but that's it. There's nothing else here we could do. Um, and we don't have both our trade rights at the moment. Trade routes. So we get something out of trade, but trade has with Yuan Tan has been suspended. Perhaps only for now, but the trade route is still open as far as I can see that. Okay. 
Yeah, one more turn and then we can take um, Taishan again. Hopefully. Yeah, they're trying it now. They're trying to, to break out there. Um, with much um, worse conditions. So, let's start the battle. Let's do a battle again. We haven't done one in a while now. We shall be carried along by a wave of victory. It is time we finally settled the score. Okay, Huang Shao. And he should be going down. Okay, it's open battlefield here. Reinforcement deployment zone. I have no idea what that means. Something is not right here though. Let's get my riders into the forests. In here, they're hidden now. And I think I can leave the rest as it is. Let's start the battle. That doesn't sound good. And he's only got riders there. Uh, archers as far as I can see. Is that right? Let's send my riders over there. And then they flank them right in the, in the back. To me it seems like they only have archers there. And there's nothing else anywhere. Beautiful by the way. Looks beautiful. There's the reinforcements coming. And my cavalry is coming in from behind. I'm going to send them back because they're going to flank those armies then there. But yeah, they're down quicker than I thought. Let's reform here. And my riders are going full into those arches there now. Let's get my riders back there and there's still there's still the enemy general here I think so let's shoot at it at him Right there are my riders coming. But those riders really are not fast. Are they actually running or riding? And the enemy general is still here, in the middle. Stand ready. Mount up. 
Very nice, right into the back there, and there the arch is now going down. With a full charge, hopefully. Yeah. That's nice, and there's a second charge coming. Yeah, that's pretty much the end. Could try and charge them again from behind with the riders there. Taking out the, the last of them. But that's about it. There's still some fighting there. Okay, that was quite successful, I think. We haven't lost too many units. We have lost no unit at all. We have just re uh, lost some men here and there. That's it, though. We should have won now. Where's the claim victory button? Oh, he's still there. Because he's still alive, or what? Let's hunt him with some cavalry there, but that that doesn't make any sense now, victory. Very nice. Okay, let's claim it. It's a decisive victory. I was a bit worried there because it said, uh, said reinforcements are coming in. That was a bit problematic there, I think. Other than that, very nice. We have made a battle again. We've won a battle again. And we got the city back. And our territory is once again complete. And whoa, lots of money out of that. And let's also get a ransom there because um, I don't int intend to attack anything else right now. Very nice, let's occupy. And Taishan is ours once again. We go we're going to start with um, converting some of those things here back again to our houses. So we can start with... Yeah, the farm laborer camp, I think. Very nice. And Liu Bei is in Donglai right now. And now that we have our territory in this condition here, you know, our back is secured with Liu Bei as well, because we're in a coalition, so he won't attack us. Plus, we are mutual friends by default. Um, so I can now take my fight over into, into this territory there, up beyond the, the Yellow River, perhaps down here for now, Huangshou, and then over here into this ter territory there and take some new lands there. We'll see about that. And what I can see, one of my characters also upgraded again, and we'll do that in the next episode. Stay tuned.